By many, he's seen as a hero. In 2015, Salam Aldin, an entrepreneur from Denmark, decided to change his life. I saw the picture of Alan Kurdi. I got like shocked. Two days after, I was sitting on the plane on the way to Lesbos. The photo of the three-year-old Syrian boy made global headlines, lying dead on the beach after drowning in the Mediterranean. The European migrant crisis was at its peak, and with around 3,000 people arriving each day, the Greek island of Lesbos was a hotspot. I was actually in the water, half of my body was in the water, and I looked back and I saw all these refugees, like old people, like children, women. And I wanted to scream. I, I really wanted like scream and cry in the same moment. I was thinking, where's the help? How come is there is nobody here? And then like from that day, it changed my life. At first, Aldin thought he'd go help for a week, but one week quickly turned into five months. He assembled a crew of other volunteers. They called themselves Team Humanity and bought a rescue boat funded by donations. The group worked day and night, helping migrants make the treacherous landing on Lesbos. At its closest point, the crossing from Turkey to Greece is only 10 kilometers, but the overcrowded boats regularly sank. One January night, everything changed. The Greek Coast Guard arrested Team Humanity at sea. For Aldin, it felt like a betrayal. Many times I've been helping Coast Guard because their boat couldn't rescue people. There was people in the water, full, a lot of people in the water. And the waves were so big, but I put my life in danger to rescue them. Greek authorities accuse Aldin of people smuggling. If he's found guilty, he faces life in prison. You just watched a video of the wonderful Salam Aldin and the great news that they have been acquitted. I think that's wonderful, you know, it's a victory really, because it shows that, you know, it's not a crime to save people's lives, to intervene when it's necessary, and it shouldn't be criminalized. And this is really a victory for people who are pro-refugee rights. Yes, and anybody who stops people fleeing oppression and they want to go to freedom, they should be prosecuted, exactly. not people That's who support the criminals. No, and not people who actually support them. So really, I think they need to be congratulated, all three of those, and everybody who supported them. Yeah, it was a group of he, he and another Danish person, and then several firefighters from uh, uh, from Spain. And I guess one of the things is that you know people say, well, they should be criminalized. They're smuggling people in. Well, they're rescuing people, and in a way, it made me think of those people who helped Jewish people escape Nazi Germany. Uh, you know, they were it was considered criminal and illegal at the time, but they're today's heroes and really people like Salam uh, are our heroes today and yes. uh, and it's being recognized saving human lives is not illegal it's not illegal and that's the everybody has the right to do that so well done to all three of them yay so I think there was five of them uh, but anyway however yes. many there were what a great piece of news and we're with them we support them and it was just really something good to hear after all this you well know done horrors of all the refugees fleeing and uh, yes oh, beautiful great yay that brings us to the end of the program until next week from me and Mariam Namazi bye goodbye see you later <laughs> <laughs>